everyone welcome back to my channel so let's just get into uh, the painting for today and uh, this is gonna be a folk art uh, kind of theme painting so I'm making this nice um, as you might have already seen this kind of painting there but I just changed it a bit but the uh, the Rajasthani guy uh, in the turban that I'm making that's very similar to the one that you might have seen already on Pinterest or everywhere else but we're gonna use the same image but change it somehow to make uh, it look much different than the usual uh, the original one so originally it's a clip art i guess on the pinterest by some uh, other, other company i don't know so i'm not taking the whole um, you know uh, credit for the uh, this guy here so this idea is not mine but the whole composition of the canvas is totally different that you're not gonna see anywhere else so a combination of all these different patterns and this uh, guy it will look so much uh, you know better together so let's make this uh, rough drawing of this um, you know sunny guy so i'm going to write all the colors that i'm using here first uh, i'll go uh, with the main uh, you know the subject here the person in the beard that guy with the turban so we'll paint it first so i'm choosing to paint the turban first so let it dry and then we can go and uh, work on our uh, background so first of all i'm gonna you know give the turban a little bit of different texture like some uh, the sides a uh, little bit uh, lighter and the inner uh, should be a little bit darker so you know it just gives a little bit of depth to the whole painting and the turban so and as you might have seen in Rajasthani culture there's uh, their clothes their turbans they are very colorful so I'm just trying to you know show different pleats of different cloth going through the turban so we're going to choose different colors there or not just red so i'm choosing these two colors that is the burnt sienna or brown and some flash tint which already comes in the faber castle and i'm going to mix them together to make a nice uh, skin color for uh, the the person here and just to give it a little shade so i'm going to choose two different uh, colors here the darker brown color and a little bit uh, you know lighter than that just to give it a nice shadow uh, kind of feel not to mix a uh, whole flat um, paint here so just do as i'm doing it here exactly and it will look so good when it you know the whole painting will come together when i will uh, you know uh, mark the painting uh, with the borders black markers and all it will all come together no don't worry if the eyes and the brows are not uh, clear through the painting we'll do it again when the paint will dry out uh, then after that you can mark it with the marker or black paint so first uh, now as our you know the skin color is finished so we'll go through the cloth so i'm using the yellow color here just plain yellow nothing very fancy just a simple yellow color you can choose any other uh, you know kind of colors as well if you want to choose um, orange that will also look great with this um, kind of painting so first finish uh, the beard as well so i'm choosing just black so later on i'll put some lines on top of the when it will dry out i'll choose some uh, lines with the paint marker to give it you know nice um, texture of hair in the uh, beard so or mustache you can say it's a mustache not a exact beard so as you can might have seen in Rajasthani culture they have these huge mustaches and they look so you know royal and so good so I just wanted to show it here uh, so in the background I want to make a you know kind of um, Rajasthani uh, window kind of uh, like a royal window like the person here standing in a window so some some kind of that shape in the back and in that area we're going to choose a different color so I'm choosing this emerald green pale emerald green that is from uh, uh, Fevicryl I guess so I'll put the link of every color and everything that I'm choosing you can go through the links to buy the colors or if you if not the exact you sometimes you know you know I don't find the exact uh, link for that but I try to you know go 
like a similar one but in a different um, brand so it doesn't matter so that's what as you can see so this um, kind of um, window is done so this is the color that I use from Fabricrin and uh, next we're gonna go and we're gonna do some uh, you know light small design on our background so I'm choosing this nice tea drop um, sorry the water droplet kind of structure so if you don't uh, want to go with this you can also make a paisley uh, paisley you know the one which we call so called in Hindi ambi or like um, it's it's little bit you can see that uh, so much in the mehendi design so there are different forms that you can uh, do in the background so i'm just gonna leave that uh, drop shape uh, empty with the white color and the rest of it i'm gonna uh, paint with pink color so pink i have you know i didn't find the exact pink the color that i wanted so i mixed few different pinks that i have crimson red and some fluorescent or neon pink uh, along with a very light uh, pink dahlia color that i had so i just mixed all them together and found this uh, nice rani kind of uh, pink that i wanted so now let the color dry and then uh, by that time we will fill in all that uh, you know nice eyebrow and ears and everything with our paint marker i'm using the small top paint markers but you can choose any other marker that you have and uh, because it's a midpoint uh, marker so that's why i'm choosing this to mark my in you know smaller lines here and there with this but if i want to make a uh, bold lines i'll choose uh, the paint marker from uniball that is much much more, uh, you know good uh, for marking broad lines so that's why i'm gonna choose this uni paint marker so as you can see the painting is coming all together and it's looking much prettier now and the colors you know comes all um, together and just pops out when you use the black marker I just love this uh, stage of the whole painting so let's keep going Okay guys so our painting is almost done and the last thing only remaining there is to make uh, the water droplet uh, you know the shape uh, which is you know the lines the white lines are not that perfect so the what you can do is you can take your white marker and then uh, you know 
make a exact shape of that again and uh, make it proportional from every side and voila your uh, droplet is complete so that's it guys that's for it for today and i hope you liked the video and if you did please give me a huge thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and uh, some of you guys watch my video but don't subscribe it please do subscribe to my channel and do go through my instagram as well and please uh, drop your messages on my instagram i will definitely get back to every one of you okay guys so um, till then, bye-bye. See you next week.